I don't want to make anybody nervous, but we have a new producer. <laughs> so I don't even know if this is filming, really. But if it is, hi again, we're the Boomer Bros. And if it isn't, you haven't missed a thing. Not a darn don't thing. Worry about it. In fact, we haven't been on for a couple of weeks, you haven't even noticed. I know I haven't noticed. And it really ticks me off. I want to be on the record of saying that. That shows your age. Ticks me off. Well, Who pisses that me in? off. All right. That's a little better. I know, you know, but the this is YouTube, so I'm allowed yeah, to say you don't whatever want to be I want, right? Tick me off, right, exactly. <laughs> All right, so you wanted to start with some of the grim news that's happening I wanted to in the start world. with this, but only because I have personal experience with it, this horrible shooting again in Ohio, in a little suburb. Terrible. In Ohio. And you remember that when I was having struggles with raising my children as a single mm -hmm. mom, um, I became a real activist for suburban teens. And what I noticed, and this is again 10 years ago, uh, even a little bit longer than that, that suburban teens su sort of don't get any, any they, you don't cut them any slack. So when kids were telling me that they were depressed, and we lived in a, a, a very sort of upscale community near, near uh, Boston, uh, the answers that I kept getting were, what do they have to be depressed about? What, what a, and yet again, all the shootings seemed to happen in a, in a, in a middle class, community why not people, in the big city why people think having money means you don't have problems doesn't make any sense in, but that's the attitude well, you have some, money so you can buy your happiness somehow or another some, but not these it's kids it's not the happiness it's more the stability they, they that, don't have any credibility their depression and their and their sadness doesn't have any credibility it's they get a pat like, on the head. Yeah, you'll be okay. You'll be, well, you're fine. We look where we live. We have a great house. My parents are a doctor and a lawyer, and yeah. we moved here to to escape all the issues. And yet, they pick up a gun. They're so isolated, and in some ways, it might be because their parents' expectations are pretty high because they were accomplished high, and then they have this kid that's not doing so well because the bar is raised so high, and you're like, what? Get snap out of it. Yeah. Well, it not, you some should be happy. Some kids can't snap fine. out of it, and they pick up right. a gun and they shoot well, people. Well, they're mentally ill. Yes, they These are, are mentally yes, ill kids. I mean, your kids were not mentally ill. They were just, you know, products of a, you know, the crazy suburban but there world. But there were depression. My daughter was depressed. Yes, sad, sad, yes, sad, but not to the But level. I got her help immediately. I'm like, I totally understand whether I agree with you or not. And most of the time, of course, I didn't. But I got her help. And she had help, and she eventually had help that helped her, really. Yes, it But did. I can't tell you how many times I would ask to meet with parents and, you know, let's get together and talk about it. And they were like, it's not my kid. My kid's fine. I'm like, you think my kid is, is hanging out by herself? And depressed? I, I mean, you. I anyway. I hear you. So. If that's a ve actually a very interesting topic that I bet would be, will future be a cover of Newsweek? One of those kind of things, you know, the suburban kid. I mean right. that. I think you're right. I think that's going to be a huge story right now. You know, it's not just an urban problem. And I think Columbine proved it, and now this, now Ohio. Well, it's been one after the other. I know. I mean, there have been In many. fact, I think I heard someone on the news say, oh, it's been 11 months since our last school shooting. I was like, God, that we would even say, that no. those words would even come out of your mouth. Like, boy, it's been a whole 11 months since the last time someone shot up in a school. Crazy. It's crazy it's that those things are happening. And, and the fact that we don't take it terribly seriously in, in the suburbs is really t very troubling to me. I'm sorry. Didn't mean to open the show on a downer. Well, I said to Janet, we're not always funny. We're just not always funny. Even when we try to be. Yeah. Especially when we try. <laughs> all right, now you want to go to something truly well, important. Well, you know, I'm very shallow. We all know how shallow I am. I just, you know, I like to recap the Oscars, which is my personal Super Bowl, uh, especially after the last Super Bowl. Which well, let's was start with the leg. So Should we start with the leg fiasco? Oh, that's hilarious. Let's start what with she, the leg. Well, first, let's talk about her arms. Before we get to her legs, <laughs> what is wrong with the woman's arms? She's They're got like skinny arms. You have skinny legs. You should understand. I don't think, I do not think I suffer from the type of skinniness that Angelina Jolie suffers from, but thank you. <laughs> I should stop you the show right now. You aspire to that, right? That Beautiful. Uh, no, there's something wrong with her arms. There's something wrong with okay, her Okay, whatever. Okay. So far. And the leg. The, I, I love, have you been looking at all the YouTube adaptations? Oh, they're fantastic. And the ones with the two legs now that are coming. Oh, they're just hilarious. <laughs> she's just an odd bird. She is I mean, an odd since bird. She, since she drank that a lot of Billy on Bob the vial and the thing. Exactly. Yeah, right she's the always been weird. And I don't know what brand season her. All right, so which looks. one did but you anyway. like the best? The dress, the dress, the dress. I know I, I know stand alone. I well, I, you definitely disagree with me, but I think Jessica Chastain. Ooh! Will, see, as I said, Scarlett O'Hara ripping the drapes off the window. Are you done? And and 
wrapping herself in. I think anybody else, me, you, our producer, would look Leslie. Disgusting. Can we give her a little no, credit? No, she doesn't want it for me, <laughs> um, Would look horrible in that dress. But Jessica Chastain well, I think pulled she's, that first of all, off. She is beautiful. She's, I love her And look. she pulled that dress off. It looks gorgeous I on get her. get it. You want to talk gorgeous? Right. Let's talk Gwyneth Paltrow in a town for the gorgeous, gorgeous, white, gorgeous, gorgeous. I don't know, she always Not many people can dress in white. Though. She dresses a lot in white, though. Yes, yeah, she does. Not with the white, is And not. Rooney Mara dressing in white was very surprising. Usually yeah. she's very goth, I didn't like that look know. at all. I didn't like her look I, at all. And many people, it was a Givenchy, I think, and many people liked it, but I think that's, she has that very small breast, you know, the very yeah, small breast. It and didn't then, and fill it out. It looked too like it needed on, more. Yeah, it needed some help. And you know who else I thought was magnificent? Who? Stacy Keebler. Oh yeah. That dress. Yes, she's beautiful. She looked like an Oscar. That couple. That couple. Makes me just Although covet. She's I covet. Very tall. I don't know. It kind what does of that mean? She's me. Very, it troubles me. Yes. That she poor would look Stacey. down at him to, poor, to, poor to kiss him Keebler. or something. You know. I don't know. Well, anyway, I w I was upset that Uggie didn't win. My personal favorite was, as you know, Uggie the dog. You were upset. No, let's talk about what you were really upset about. Oh well, I was really upset that Meryl Streep won. And I tell you, I ran to the movie theaters the day before the Oscars to make sure don't that I saw it. that. Don't get it. Don't get it. Don't get it. Don't get it. Stupid movie, which was so disjointed. Did so poorly bad, edited, such done. a bad movie. But in true Meryl Streep fashion, God bless her. She's so hysterical. Well, she stands up there, and who does she thank? One person, her makeup artist. <laughs> not the cast, not the crew, not her makeup artist. She Will is so. No I'm time? sorry. She is so narcissistic. I have to say, about Meryl. Her. Yes. Really. I, I had want not to thank noticed. one person, the one person who made me look the way I looked. <laughs> Does it? Isn't that unusual? Yeah, kind of. I just didn't get the, the I, I love the artist, I love the movie. I just don't get it as the best movie of the year. Well, I, really I, I do get it because it was a very unique and very arty film and very art. But you what I'm like all so, the rest of them well, now. Well, I am like them, just one of the pack. I'm a lemming. Uh, but I thought what was interesting was that only one of the movies actually earned any money, which was The Help. Well, out of all of these wonderful now that movies, to me was a wonderful that movie. help made over a hundred million dollars, and wonderful none movie. of them, nobody's seen these movies. Everybody who won won for a movie that nobody's what, seen. What are they waiting for it to come out on on on, on yeah, demand? I something? guess maybe really? that's what the world you has think? become. That could very well be. But you missed. I don't know if you watched much of the Oscar. But you, you do this to me every time. <laughs> So what did you think of the whatever? Because I go to sleep and I wake up the next but actually, what day and I open missed, the paper and there it is, all in front of me. Great, that's a lot of fun. But what well, you missed was for the me. pre. You don't even like the pre. No. No, you don't like anything. So the best part... <laughs> oh, wait, part can I tell the... you why I don't like the pre? So, what are you wearing? So, what is it? So, how do you feel? Oh, you so, that's what's so up? Much fun. So... The, it's that they, they can't think of enough questions. And I swear to God, if I have to look at that Osborne girl. Yeah, what's she, she doing with her hair? What is she doing there at all? Well, she's now a member of Fashion Police and she's care. not looking good. But anyway, what I wanted to say was, before I was so rudely interrupted, the best part of the Oscars was the pre-Oscar show that you don't like. I'm going to have to stick interview, my finger in your ear And the that. interview with Nick Nolte. Did I didn't you? see it. I missed that. <laughs> <laughs> Was he out of it? <laughs> it was, I don't know what poor Nick is on, what he's been doing, or what how, I don't know what happened to Nick. But the British woman who's the fashion editor for Glamour was one of the people on the Robin Roberts ABC show. So she has a bit of a British accent, which might be hard for the average person to understand, but it was obviously impossible for Nick, <laughs> Nick Nolte. Nolte. <laughs> Nick Nolte joins me now. An incredibly moving performance in Warrior, which I actually watched last night. Now, this is your third Oscar nomination. Congrats. You said that you were touched, but not excited. Now that you're here all dressed up, are you a bit itty-bitty excited? Well, you know, if I knew what you said, I could probably answer you. Well, yeah, maybe because he wasn't sober. But these were, she said to him, Sue, I hear you have a pet crow. I have a little quiz for you. Is true or false, you own a pet crow? This is, <laughs> I mean this sincerely. I hear you have a pet crow. What? <laughs> what did I do? This is his answer. I, I can't understand a thing he said. What she saying? A crow! I hear you have a crow! Oh! Yeah, I have a crow! Oh, I have a crow! You do, Oh, yes! 
Cheers. Okay. I hear And this you. is the scintillating <laughs> October. This I is the, hear was this you from six to seven or six to eight? I don't know, six to seven, yeah, seven to eight. I hear you have a pinball machine that predicts the Oscars. <laughs> and true or false, you had a pinball machine that used to predict how well your movie would do, is that right? What? I'm gonna think about Lisa's response. I mean, I was crying. It was so freaking hysterical. And he said, and she said, a pinball machine. And he said, yeah, I have a pinball machine that predicts the Oscars. No. I hope it predicts Oscars. Huh? I hope it predicts Oscars. Oh no, it doesn't protect us at all. <laughs> Thank you, Nick. Oh, wow, <laughs> I mean, it wow, was. Wow. Oh, the twi Twitter sphere was going crazy. What is Nick on? How many, how many pieces? Someone wake Nick up. Of, how, while you're watching a show, how many pieces of communication do you have? Like, I just have my iPhone and my iPad. <laughs> So I can be, what the hell? What is he smoking? Well, you'll want to know, know this. This is what Ad Week says. And what does the what's They the basically answer? say that it still matters because it's event programming. It's the, and there's so little event it programming. It's the Super it Bowl of fashion and it movies is. and so entertainment. Why, and why wouldn't people think the Oscars matter? Well, their viewership is somewhat down. What do we think of Billy Crystal, by the way? A little Man. bloated. Man. Yeah. A little Botox. That's that a little. He's been a little puffed up. I thought he was very, very comfortable and very safe. Which I, that's is, fine with me. Which is a lot better than the ones before. James Franco and that poor Anne Hathaway. Do you want to talk? We can technique. talk about some other stuff, too, by the way. Oh, sure. Let's wrap things up with a couple of quick Well, duties. I was going to... Uh, Ellen DeGeneres and J.C. Penney. I like the spots. J.C. Good love, for love. her. J.C. Love good them. Good for her. And good for them. I like what they're doing. I really... I will... I've never shopped at a, a JCP, yeah. but I will now. Look at that. You can call it a JCP. Is it JP or JCP? JCP. Because that's what they're going at. Well, the other thing is I just finished reading Steve Jobs, and Ron Johnson figures mightily in that book. Mm, and now he's because the CEO, he, right? he developed all the, retail, all the Apple stores. Although I read someone saying that with the fantastic marketing campaign, because it is. Which one? The JCP? JCP. Uh, but they went into a JCP or a JCPenney and nothing, nothing had changed. changed. And they said the marketing's getting ahead of the stores and that's a mistake. Uh, the stores better match the marketing. You better walk in there and go, wow, but he this is, place is great. He is brilliant. Although I want to get back to my Steve Jobs book. He was woo crazy. Steve Jobs. Yeah. Crazy I man. I have to read that. Honest to God, I can't even believe how crazy he was and he was so successful. We'll have to do a whole show on that. Oh, absolutely. And I am the crazy entrepreneur. The crazy... I'm a little, I got a little of that. I, I know. I can see different. Leslie going on. Ah. Far be it for me to bring that up. But it's true. We but have met, not, many of our clients show these traits. I mean, there's a that's an interesting he story. He had a re reality distortion yes, syndrome. Yes, he did. Where he lived in his own Private reality. Yeah. And he was a brutal 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 to his family to his children to his daughter to his whatever to his staff uh, especially to his staff um and i'm fascinated by that yeah i have to read i that. couldn't I put it that. down fabulous read <clears throat> fabulous i will read i've that. read three good books recently diane keaton's book then again mm -hmm. which i loved mm -hmm. um uh, also also all souls by michael patrick someone in south boston on his name, but all about south boston souls. which was Fascinating. Mm -hmm. Absolutely fascinating. You're going to read it. I will. And then the Steve Jobs. And now and I'm reading Stephen King. And I read Bossy Pants, which was hilarious. Tina Fey, lover, lover. And I read, what is the book I've been loving that I just finished? The baseball, the playing field. I don't, the, uh, oh, it's so good. A little Chiron, that right? <laughs> it's got some memory. The Bronze, the bronze unsurprisingly <laughs> enough. Oh, I was just told by our client, Mount Auburn Hospital in Cambridge, that they've started a memory center. <laughs> Are you first I was line? like, thank God. Was that personally did for me? Did you book an appointment? Exactly, right personally. Away. Okay, well, we're down to our last minute, so did you want to comment about the uh, Dancing with the Stars cast? Is uh, that the only one I'm excited about? about is Gavin DeGraw and Maria Menounos. I'm happy about Why are that. you excited about Gavin DeGraw? I like him. Do you? You like him. I like I'm him. excited about man. Martina Navratilova. And who's That's the old one? Fun. Don't they have an old person? Oh, many. Oh, no, many. they always have one. Oh, Gladys Knight. Gladys. She looked pretty darn good, I'll tell you that. I'm oh, excited. Sherry Shepard? Yes. And who the hell is Disney Channel star Rush Sean Fegan? Are you just reading this for the first time? Yes. You're supposed to be on the... Oh, was I supposed to prepare for the show? <laughs> Not again. <laughs> All right, and on Try that away. note... Ta. Thanks, everybody. <laughs>